Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Doom. This is episode 3, Inferno, map 4, House of Pain. I'm having to co post-commentate this because Audacity decided to fuck itself and to not record a damn thing that I said. So, I got a successful run of this map and nothing. Anyway, you're, as soon as I started, I was being attacked by a demon who was right there in my face. And I, here I am, I'm attempting to use the barrels here to do more damage to the demons, and it kind of worked on those two, but it still took a couple shots to kill. Anyway, that right there is your first secret, so make sure you get that. Come over here and wake him up, kill him, and once you step out of the time, there's going to be two rooms on, on either side of you that have... Uh, Keiko demons in. This one here has one Keiko, and the one behind you has two. That kind of makes it a pain in the butt to, uh, uh, dodge, because you can only see fire from one of them at a time. But do your best. I mean, you can hear audio cues about when the guns behind you are firing. You're going to come around this corner, and you will see a couple more demons. This is a fairly long level, so I apologize for it being a fairly long video. So it's your weapon and teleport in here. Unfortunately, the one specter teleported away from me and decided to go in this room here. And what I like to do in this room, though, is I like to switch over to the fist and pick up that berserker pack. And punch these guys out. I should have backed into a corner there, but I didn't. Here I am in the corner, though, and punching him out. And pick up health items if you need them, and switch back to your shotgun, because that's probably what you're going to be needing next. Go upstairs, there'll be a, there'll be a box of shells here. If you can get that barrel there that I just shot, you can kill two or three of the human enemies in this area. And this area is, uh, see the two things on the ceiling there? Those will come down and smash as soon as you enter that area. And you want to uh, run between these as quickly as you can and flip these first two switches here, which will raise these platforms and allow you to get the items. Obviously health items, ammo for your uh, chain gun in the form of another chain gun. And then you got an invincibility sphere there. I did not mean to activate that, but I did, so let's go back here. Uh, flip this switch first and start firing it. The uh, imps. Now, what I like to do is I like to try to punch these guys out since you got a berserker pack, which I'm about to do. Bring it. Bring it. Eat fist. I love that the Doom guy has brass knuckles on his fist, although I got to imagine that that kind of messes with his ability to fire weapons, but it doesn't really seem to. You don't see it when he's holding any other weapons, just when he's doing the fist. He puts on uh, brass knuckles for that. I always thought that was kind of cool. Back here, and that opens up that. One quick BFG shot will take care of most of the enemies in there. I mean, as you can plainly see, uh, I'm not doing so well against these lost souls. But as you plainly saw, it killed almost all of them. And you go back here, lots of ammo from everything. Come around this corner, there'll be a boatload more enemies. I mean, they'll be shooting uh, a bunch of demons and a bunch of M's mostly. The demons have this kind of quick walking zigzag pattern that they do that it can be a pain in the butt. Especially if your aiming is not as good, which mine isn't on this version because I'm playing with the thumbsticks over a mouse. I am not doing so well on health here, but I will survive. Ah, 
Okay. And I'm gonna switch back over to the fist here. And try to punch out this Keiko and see how this goes. Yeah, I got him without even being touched. Gotta like it when that happens. If you don't flip that switch, you will never be out of never be able to get out of that room. So definitely give that switch a flip. Um, come around this corner here. I'm gonna go back here and um, grab a little bit of health, and I'm going to grab the invincibility sphere. Full health. Invincibility sphere. And you'll come back over here. And around this corner is a Baron. Now that really annoyed me. Like, I shot him point blank with the BFG and it didn't kill him? Are you kidding me? There I got him with the shotgun though. Freaking lost souls, but the whole point of going over there is you saw I picked up the blue key. What you need for this, uh, get in this door here. Blow those up. And kill a bunch of imps. Now, I would be careful to not blow up these barrels just yet because you're going to come around this corner and there is a Keiko Demon. And if you blow him up while, if you blow up the barrels while he's weaving in between them, you can do quite a bit of damage to him. Look at that. After, you, after I got him with the barrels, I took one more shot and he died. Both well, barrels can be incredibly useful. If you do things like that. I cannot believe I managed to only alert one Keiko going around this corner, but I did. But you want to, since there's two Keikos here, you definitely want to pull out your chain gun to mow these guys down. Because it'll be a pain in the butt if you're not. And honestly, one thing that makes this version more difficult than the PC version is I can't switch weapons as fast. They're assigned to numbers. You like that? There are some numbers on the PC button, so you just hit the corresponding number and it switches right to it. Here I have to flip through them. Let's go over here, and we'll get the BFG. I think this might be a signal, but I don't honestly know. Drop down, flip the switch, get the BFG. Come over here. Blow up the barrels. And switch to the fist because demons. And a whole lot of rockets. That didn't bode well for me, and I'm gonna get ass fucked here in just a second. I'm royally fucked. Like this right here made parts of the map following it a lot tougher because of what happens here. I... I cannot back up because there's enemies behind me there. And again... That Baron was not taken out with one. But I got lucky here because... I got that. Wish that hadn't hurt me, but... What can you do? I probably should have gotten that health there first. Because then I would have uh, more than 139%, obviously. And it's not the only thing that's going to bite me in the ass in this, uh, as I play through this level. But here is the tricky. You go on immediately to the uh, left here and open that up. It's almost like a puzzle. Depending upon where you step, it will open up different pots, different doors. And there are two doors that you have to get through here. Step there, and there, and they both open up. That was not so good.
Come on, Spectre. Eat shell. Ah. Not dodging so well. Okay. I'm in desperate need of health now. So I'm going to backtrack and do my best to not die. Because if I hadn't done this, I would have died in this level. And this cost me on time, but... I mean, I needed to do it to live. But I still beat my time playing through it. Um, I pick up a couple rockets there. I still beat my time playing through it uh, for my practice run. There's more health over this way that I'm going to get. That I didn't pick up. I'm in decent standing again. Obviously, I'd like to be back at 100%, but I'm not. And I don't exit with this level with 100%, unfortunately. I exit with, like, you'll see. 86. Wish I could get that to go back up so I could get that health, because then I would be at 100% uh, again. But we're going to go back this way. And go back to the blue door. After I get done checking things for health and armor. Okay, got that to open back up. Stop shooting me! Got rid of most of the health that I just gathered up. Now, here... This switch and this switch will close doors. That switch and that switch will open it. And it's the same for both poles. So, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to switch to my fist and punch these demons out. Love when I get them with one punch. Pick that up. It's my first time having to post commentate. I'm really not happy about that. I don't know what the hell happened. Get him, and then come back around this corner. Ah, I really hate Lost Souls. Open up that, pick up the red key, and into the red door. And then you're going to turn around the corner the other way, and there's going to be a uh, Kago demon there. There he is. And I got hit by him. Oh, man, I did not do well on this run of this level, did I? But there I got him. Now I'm going to go back and get the invincibility sphere, and you'll see why. Here in a little bit. Pick this up. Ammo. Invincibility Sphere. And come through here. Now, this floor actually hurts you, so... See, that is what is supposed to happen. That is what's supposed to happen and didn't. I have Invincibility, so I don't need to worry about splash, splash damaging myself. switch weapons here and kill those guys now this here is a secret but that's kind of nice you get that flip this switch it opens that flip that switch and kill the demon I think that's a secret too but don't quote me on it because I could be wrong I just know that's what you need to do
Now, after all this work of coming back from being in 17 health and making my way through the rest of the level and almost getting killed a couple times, this happens. Exit. Even while I was shooting him, he got me twice, but that was it. That was uh, House of Pain. Thank you, everybody, for watching. 100% secrets, 100% kills, and my time is through the fucking roof. Look at that. 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 24, and we're going to enter the next level, and then we're going to save. And we're going to exit. There we go. Unholy Cathedral. This level's kind of a pain in the ass. And thank you everybody for watching. We're going to save. And we will talk to you guys next time here on Let's Play Doom. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And goodbye everybody.